If God really loves me, then why does life keep hurting me? If you've ever asked any of these questions, well, my friend, I've got... Man, you guys got more people visiting here than the White House. Right. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm tired of these people being stuffed down my throat, bro. Look, I understand you, but first, you need to chill. Hang around the Welsh, and you'll probably see that most people have more in common than you than what you think. I doubt it. Oh, that's why it's cheap. These people were those subclass kids that we used to laugh at. Remember, man, I'm tired of kicking it with the socialites and the AKA Holy Rollers. Man, I'm out of here. Oh, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. Y'all know a lot about me, but I know a lot about you. And I've heard that you were supposed to be good man, with these gangsters and all these people on the street, but let me tell you something. I used to be that gangster. I used to be the boss. People used to be scared to see me coming. So stick around and learn a few things if you're man enough, bro. <laughs> So you're going to put me on blast like that? That's right, I'm going to put you on blast like that. Well, let me tell you something, bruh. If I find out anything that finds that I get a place out of here, I'm going to be gone. But since I ain't got no place to go right now, I listen to y'all. So, be clear, bruh. All right, but keep in mind, you don't got nowhere else to go. <laughs> you ain't sure about that. Hey everybody, I'm Lucy. I'm glad to see everyone here, the younger group as well as the slightly older group, in honor of my grandmother. Um, I miss her so much. It's been so hard in these past three months. I thought about her every day. She practically raised me. I mean, she taught me everything I know. She taught me how to pray. Even when Lord knows, I didn't feel like it. But I did it anyways because Grandma believed in prayer. We had a wonderful homegoing service with the first group. But I thought we should all come together and speak on life and remember her life. So, speak from your heart, say whatever's on your mind, and remember to say your name for all the new people that's in the group. Hi, my name is Alice. Allie. I wish I had Lucy's testimony, but my story is from the other side of the tracks. I remember when I first saw your grandma, I was in Julie Hall. She brought some message about settling down. She talked about a man that was a settler. I was molested by a priest when I was younger. This went on for years. I just knew that there couldn't be a guy because all the men that represented him were phonies. I put them all together. Priests, pastors, reverends, elders, whatever. They were all supposed to be men of the cloth, but really they were just men trying to get me out of the sheep. These memories just haunted me so, so much. So I burned down the church. I had to rid my mind of the memories of the small corridors and the dark cell of rooms and even the confession booth, but that didn't help. So I turned to drugs. And to support that habit, I had to steal. I told your grandma all these things, and I was just so sure that she wasn't going to write me anymore. But sure enough, she stuck to her word. She kept writing me, and one day she gave me the blessing of all blessings. She showed up on my birthday. I was so excited and embarrassed at the same time because I had told this lady my whole life story. She walked in and told me, hello, daughter. It's your time to choose life. Thank you. 
do what seems impossible yeah. for you right now. Yes, Just sir. say yes. Yeah. Yes, it will. Believe you'll bless me. 